Look, I just finished watching The Mandalorian, so you guys are just gonna have to deal with another bounty episode. I don't know, I'll do like, the 80s action movie thing where this is basically more of the same, but with a cool title. Look, lady, do you really think your fucking sword is going to stop this giant fuck-off robot? And yes, I am you making the same comment twice, because this is the sequel. I have to tread familiar water. Jeez, did I just arrest an, a cat person? Body cam off for what I'm about to do to you. Alright, left or right? Left it is. Oh shit! Hey, it's been a while since I've seen the space KKK kicking around. I tell you, after becoming a bit of a racist myself mm -hmm. playing this game, if they didn't blow up Earth, I'd probably be a lot more sympathetic to their cause. Usually when you're trying to start a racist organization, you don't blow up the the home planet or the home region of the people you're trying to recruit. Like, for example, if the real KKK blew up Alabama, they'd probably lose a lot of their supporters. Oh, sure I have to actually hit that lever to open the door, but I have explosive rounds for a reason. Now that's gonna take too long. Hey, just make sure she doesn't try anything while I take all of her stuff. What, is the... Is the Otaku Buddy League basically the equivalent of the dangerous hacker known as 4chan? Or, knowing the space you win, the Otaku Buddy League probably discovered some dark secret about them. Like, maybe they discovered that the... Space UN was fun was funding rebels in big ape territory. And if that information ever got leaked to the public, it would cause a huge diplomatic incident and harm Apex relations. Holy fuck, bud. It's a pimpin' hat you have. You can tell that man is a capitalist because of his swanky hat. So interpret what I'm about to say in the worst possible way, but like it, I really prefer when the people I have to arrest are aliens. Like if it was a human, maybe they just made some wrong decisions in life, like maybe they were forced into a life of crime and they had no alternative. An alien, though? Nah. So, like a few days after I posted the last video, where I went on my little spiel about how the Starbound community loves Florence a little too much, well, there is a post on the main subreddit asking if it's possible for humans to mate and have sex with a Florin. And that is exactly the shit that I'm talking about. The Florins are not a sex object at all. Just because Nuru is a little bit cutesy doesn't mean all of them are. I'd say the vast majority of them aren't. Because even fucking Nuru is probably a cannibal who's eaten people already. And speaking of, here's a little, a little peel behind the curtain. In YouTube Analytics, there's a little measure that lets you see where people are clicking on from your videos. And in the first fucking episode, 25% of viewers, they came here from Starbound Vor. And I thought to myself, well, surely, surely there isn't Starbound Vor videos on YouTube of all things. Maybe Vor was just someone's username and it was very unfortunate because he made it without realizing what it was. But nope, you heard it here first. There is just straight up four pornography of Starbound on YouTube. And you know what? 
I wouldn't care, but the people coming here after watching Vor, they only watch my videos for like 12 seconds. Wouldn't be calling you out on it if maybe you watched the whole thing, left a like, a comment, subscribed, maybe even shared the video with someone, you know, I'd be like pretty chill. Because I've got no morals of my own, if uh, enough of the Vor community paid attention to me, then like, I don't know, Maybe I'd do them a little bit of a favor, even though I think their fetish is disgusting and horrible. Now, I'm surprised the Space KKK isn't recruiting from these former prisons. I mean, pretty sure in the lore that USCM was incredibly racist. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that I'm not recruiting from prisons. But it seems like they're a different kind of kind of xenophobic. They're like a traditional kind, where they just hate anyone who's not within their own little community. Whereas I'm just xenophobic towards different aliens. See, there's a difference. I am not racist. Like, I just think humans, no matter where you are, or like what your beliefs are, your origin, you should be treated equally. But aliens? Nah, no, fuck them. What have they ever done for us? Oh, here it is. Right in the fuel tan book. We got it right the first time. The USCM far underestimated the level of aggression, cunning, and savagery the Florin race would become known for. See, it's fucking documented how bad the Florins were. Your attitude on the Florins would change pretty quickly as soon as one of their raiding ships appeared over your town, killed everyone you knew, and then ate you. Though I guess if you're one of those sickos who's into Vor, then I guess that's your fantasy, isn't it? It's pretty telling that being a shitty landlord is way more profitable and lucrative than being a bounty hunter and being a member of the space police. Oh shit, we found their, their leader, Chief Otaku. Pretty sure their base is gonna have, like, tons of body pillows, entai. He's gonna fight me with his katana collection. If there's one thing I enjoy killing more than aliens, it's fucking weeaboos. Hold on a sec, let me reload. Wait, what the fuck? You were their leader? Oh, that was pretty anticlimactic. Like, I don't know, I kind of expected a bit of a boss fight. The galaxy is now a much safer place. The weeaboo virgin threat has been eliminated. Being transferred? Are you kidding me? I'm like the sector's best cop. Really don't have a lot going on here. And you're really gonna transfer me out? What the fuck? It's so far away. 7,000 fuel. Are you fucking with me? Even if I saved every penny from every bounty mission, that wouldn't even cover a quarter of the fuel cost. 